Hey everybody, in this video I want to share with you one of the most basic things you could do to make a great sound out of the saxophone, and that's forming a great embouchure around the mouthpiece of your instrument. But before we get into it, I want you to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and also hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll never miss out on any uploads that I make in the near future. Now we have three components when we're talking about our saxophone embouchure. We have our bottom lip, we have the corners of our mouth, and we have our top teeth and top lip. And we wanna make sure that all three parts of this embouchure are engaged when we're forming our mouth around the mouthpiece. So the first thing we wanna do is to roll our bottom lip over our bottom teeth, and this acts as a cushion against our reed. The next thing we wanna do is to make sure that our top teeth are on top of the mouthpiece, and that our top lip is just rested on top of that mouthpiece as well, just to make sure that air doesn't leak out the top of our mouth. And the next thing we wanna do is to focus the corners of our mouth inward, like we're saying the syllables to or do. And this is very important because the corners of our mouth can help create a little bit more cushion with our bottom lip. So for instance, if my corners are focused outward, like I'm smiling, then that actually thins out the bottom lip. And that's not what we want when we play the saxophone. When my corners are focused inward, like I'm saying the syllables to or do, that creates more cushion with the bottom lip. And that's what we want to shoot for when we're forming our embouchure on the saxophone mouthpiece. An influential saxophonist and pedagogue, Larry Teal, wrote a book called The Art of Saxophone Playing. And in that book, he sort of parallels the picture of the spokes of a wheel with the saxophone embouchure. Now, when you think about the spokes of a wheel, all the parts of that wheel are focused in towards the center of that wheel. Same goes with the saxophone embouchure. All three components, the bottom lip, the top teeth, and the corners of our mouth should be focused in towards the center of the vibrating source, which is our reed. So the corners of our mouth are focused inward towards the center of the reed. Our top teeth and top lip are focused downward and our bottom lip is cushioned against that reed as well. So every single point of the saxophone embouchure is focused in towards that center point, which is the vibrating reed. Now, before we play our first notes, how do you know how much mouthpiece to put inside of your mouth? Here's a simple thing you could try to know where that starting point can be. Take a business card or an index card and carefully slide it in between your mouthpiece and your reed, being careful that you don't chip your reed. Where that business card stops, that's a good starting point as to where to put your top teeth and your bottom lip. Now this is a starting point, and the more you improve on the saxophone, you'll start to develop an ear for the details of the saxophone sound. So if you have too much mouthpiece in your mouth, that reed is gonna be vibrating a little bit more uncontrolled in your mouth, and that sound is gonna be more wild and spread. But if you don't have enough mouthpiece inside of your mouth, then the vibrations of that reed are gonna be a little bit more stifled. So like the sound is gonna be more thin and, and the sound is gonna be more choked off. So ultimately you wanna make sure that you're using your ears to know how much mouthpiece to intake. But if you don't know where to start, that business card trick is a good starting point. So let's go ahead and create our first sounds on the instrument. And for this, we're only gonna be using our saxophone neck. So let's go ahead and wrap our embouchure around our mouthpiece as we discussed before. And you're gonna take a nice deep breath out of the corners of your mouth. And then you're gonna blow some fast air through the center of that mouthpiece. And we're gonna try to create a long and steady note on the instrument. So let's give it a shot. Well, there you have it, your very first notes on the instrument. There's only improvements from here. So if you want more details about the next step, you can click on this video right here where I detail how to use your air when you're blowing into the saxophone. Now we know that it takes practice to improve on the instrument. And I wanna also throw in another word to that phrase. It takes consistent practice to improve on the horn. So if you're a beginner, even if you're practicing five minutes every single day, you'll see improvements because that consistency is what's gonna pay off. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more content like this so you can improve on the instrument, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll get updated as I upload new videos in the weeks and months to come. So I'll see you in the next video and happy practicing. 